Thanks, Dad. No, really. Thank you. It's a strange way to start a letter, but there's not much normal about us, so why break the mold? I think the last time I spent this much time staring at a blank page, I was in school. I wasn't there for that long, but you wouldn't know about that. Or maybe you do. Maybe you heard about that kid with a short temper. The kid with a chip on his shoulder destined to fail. The kid with your name, your hands, and your face. And maybe you didn't. I was always told I wouldn't amount to much, but today that changed. See, I didn't get a pay rise or a promotion. I didn't buy a new car or pick up some young girl with sweet talk, a wink and a smile. I got a letter. A letter from a kid you have never met. That letter made me realise I've made it. That letter was from my son. Your grandson. A kid who will do anything to please his daddy. A kid who's polite. Handsome. And so smart. Jesus is smart. Smarter than I ever was. Smarter than I ever thought my child could be. But I guess that comes from genetics, right? Nah. Genetics would have him strong. While the home my wife and I have built would have him smart. So thank you. Thank you for leaving my teenage mum when she was pregnant. Thank you for providing the example of what a real man isn't. And thank you for being the spark that has created a father and son I never thought I could be a part of. So. Thank you, Daddy. Mum says I should always say please and thank you. And I don't want to get in trouble with Mum. She's like Captain Hook when she's angry. So I'm being a good boy like you promised. Pinky promised. You always say I got your hands. Why didn't you give me your height? Terry O'Connor is at least three inches tall, and Stephen Buckley says being taller makes you a faster runner. I'm third fastest runner in my school now, thanks to my new trainers. Thanks for taking me to the park and getting me ready for sports day. Thanks, Dad. Nah. Thank you.